Hello everyone. Welcome to my your programming club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum deletions to make string balanced. So you will be given a string having only letters a and b or characters a and b. You can delete any number of characters in the given string s and to make the string a balanced string and a balanced string is a string in which for every pair of indices the index, uh, index having the uh, b character should not be the lesser one or you can say other way of saying it will be that b should not be appearing before any a in the string okay and then you have to return the minimum number of deletions that you have to make in order to make your string balanced okay so let's have a look at the constraints also before thinking of an approach so according to the constraints the length of the string will be of order 10 raised to power 5 and uh, s will be consisting of either a and b characters okay so let's try to think how we can solve this particular problem and to make the solution video a little shorter because it is a small implementation uh, problem uh, i will also introduce the code along with the example okay so this is the code that we'll be using and now let's explore how we are approaching this particular problem okay so at each we are first of all traversing this string from left to right direction okay and then as we are encountering the characters one by one if it is a a then we will check whether we have to make some deletions or not okay uh, what will be the optimal way uh, either we have to make some deletions either we have to delete the b or a okay uh, for every a you have to make two choices either delete a and increase the number of deletions okay or by one and uh, you can delete all of the b's all of the b's that were seen before this a and your number of deletions will be reset to the number of b's that you will be deleting you have to pick minimum of these two at each step you are encountering uh, a character okay so and then accordingly your number of deletions will be updated so let's try to see how this can be applied uh, to uh, this particular example okay so first we encountered the very first a and the deletions that were required initially were set to zero and b there were no b's okay so as when you rec uh, reached this particular else then you see that the number of deletions uh, that now will be needed will be one okay and the b count was zero okay so you take a minimum of uh, both of them and you decided that we are not requiring any deletions and the deletions required were set to zero okay now moving further then you moved one step ahead then another a was encountered and similar kind of thing happened uh, you were required to make one deletion and b count was still zero so deletion required uh, still remained zero okay b because we are taking minimum then we encountered the first b and the b count or the number of b's increased by one from zero to it went up to one okay then again a was encountered and now the b count is one okay so if you have to delete this a uh, your deletions will be increased by one now the deletions value was zero so you have to delete one a okay and the b count also was one so it means that the deletions uh, there will be some deletions required for sure okay so the deletions 
required is now set to one okay now moving further now then you encountered a b again okay and till this particular b you keep encountering the b's and your number of b's that you have already seen will be three okay now you reached this particular a and the number of b's that you have already seen is set to three and the deletions required is set to one okay so deletions required is one and then if you want to delete this a then this one plus one will become two and b count the number of b's that you have already seen till this point was three so which was the minimum one uh this was the minimum one so that's why the deletions required is now set to two now moving further you reach the very last b and uh, your b count was simply increased by one and it became four and you exited this whole loop okay so once you exited this loop you will be having your deletions required which was by the way two deletions and these two a's were required to be deleted okay so we are not required to uh, inform that what uh, characters we are deleting or what will be the resultant string we are just required to tell the number of deletions required so the whole logic was to see that at every a that we are visiting in the string uh, uh, while move, traversing this string from left to right direction we are essentially having two kind of choices either you can delete this a or you can delete all the b's that were seen before this a okay so these two choices were there and whichever uh, choice is giving you the minimum deletions you pick that choice and update your deletions required at that point when you are seeing that a okay so this was the whole logic of the uh, solution and this was the implementation and if we talk about the complexities also let's take a fresh slide so time complexity wise this particular solution will be order of n where n is the size of the given string okay and space because we are doing a linear traversal here see uh, this is just a linear traversal so that's why linear time complexity and space complexity wise you must have observed that we are using just a couple of variables and we are not using any extra space so space complexity wise it is constant or order of one so these are the complexities this is the approach and the logic and the implementation also so if you are having any kind of doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section and uh, till then keep solving more and more problems and i will see you in the next video i really hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of honing your dss skills thank you for watching